Hi guys, 18 Dapper here and welcome to the first match day preview of the 2024-25 season and I'm looking forward to this campaign. Let's get it underway with this first match preview. It's Doncaster Rovers versus Accrington Stanley. Let's get into it. Welcome to the first match day preview of the 2024-25 season. Doncaster Rovers versus Accrington Stanley in League 2. If you're an existing subscriber and you've supported me through many seasons of doing this, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. If this video is the first one that you've seen on the channel, consider clicking subscribe if you enjoy this sort of content. Stick around, there's plenty coming up this season. And if you are a veteran of the channel you'll know the format that we go through match previews look at previous meetings between the two clubs current form obviously we have a touch on pre-season but it's difficult really to say anything about that as we're just starting the season i choose a doncaster rovers player to say a few words about and then we move on to the opponents want to watch so as i always say you know your club much better than i do so if you think somebody else needs mentioning in that in that part of the video get it in the comments down below i do like to learn about every club that we play in league two so yeah i'm only going to learn if you guys tell me and you know you club much better than i do as i say so yeah we'll choose an opponent's one to watch which is going to be difficult with it being the first game of the season and then i predict my team lineup thanks to fan hub and then there's predictions league table there'll be a quick kind of explanation on that for the uh, upcoming season for people that don't know how it works and then the all important score prediction at the very end so without further ado let's get into the first one previous meetings between donnie and accrington and accrington reformed in 1891 i believe it was so we're just going from that point when they reformed um for the meetings between the two clubs and We've only faced off a total of 15 times since 1891 and Rovers have come out on top four times. We've drawn four occasions and then Accrington got our number a little bit with seven wins. But we drill down into the more recent five and Donny have got the edge. Two, three wins in their two draws. So we go back to 2022 in League One and it was a 2-0 win at home. And then we had the FA Cup with the replay, 2-2 two -two draw at home. And then Rovers came out victors away from home last season. Uh, with a 2-1 win and then we played obviously two games in League 2 uh, a 0-0 draw away from home and then a resounding 4-0 win at the Eco Power Stadium it'd be nice to kick off the campaign with another 4-0 win but yeah opening games are normally relatively nervy so I'd be surprised to see a scoreline of that size tomorrow but yeah Accrington I've got you struggling this season so you never know it may be a similar scoreline but yeah looking at that We've got a decent history um, more recently against Accrington, but as I say, it's played on grass, not on paper, so it could be anybody's game on the opening weekend of the season. Current form, as I say, we're going to have a look at pre-season friendlies. Um, Doncaster, their last five, uh, three wins, a defeat and a draw coming into the opening game of the season, whereas Accrington, um, a win sandwiched between two defeats in their pre-season campaign and I try not to take too much away from pre-seasons in all honesty I think it's all about getting minutes in players and um, time to work on kind of team shape tactics and kind of pin something down before the season starts so you can't really put too much pressure on or too much kind of emphasis on any results in pre-season but we have had a fairly productive pre-season overall the squad was sorted out early we had a week in portugal uh, for warm weather training team bonding there as well and i think the results haven't been too bad as well um so yeah positive pre-season so far and i've only seen one game myself and that was against middlesbrough it was a 5-3 defeat at home um, a couple of weeks ago and i think they were positive to take away from that middlesbrough a very good team moved the ball around really well but i think we Harried them. Um, I think we have got energy. We look we look together, um, which has been something missing over previous pre seasons. So yeah, it's looking it's looking positive. But questions de defensively in that one. But we came up against a very good Middlesbrough team that moved the ball around with ease. Um, and I don't think we'll come up against many League Two teams that that shift the ball like Middlesbrough did on that day. But hopefully those kind of defensive lapses will be fixed coming into the season. And I think there were, yeah, I think I've, there's an argument to say that there were with the nil-nil draw at Rotherham, um, another decent team, and, and to, to go to their place and not concede, I think it shows that 
something has been worked on defensively. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this season. On to Accrington, as with Donny, pre-season results, you can't really say anything about them. They mean very little in the grand scheme of things. Uh, but I think Accrington fans may be coming into this season a little bit nervy, having only won one of their pre-season encounters. In the seven warm-up games, they've shipped 18 goals, they've scored seven. So I think there's plenty of work to do at both ends of the pitch for Accrington Stanley. And they've played some tough local teams in the running, so that's a mitigating circumstance, isn't it? Um, teams like Blackburn, Wigan and Blackpool, all, all relatively decent teams. I think Blackburn may struggle this season. Um, Wigan should do okay in League One. I think Blackpool will do all right. And yeah, the the only win that they got was against Blackpool um, away from home, 3-1. So I think the concerns will come from the defeats against Clitheroe, Buxton and Lancaster City though. Um, but again, did they play a full, full strength squad with the trialists? You can't really put too much emphasis on, on pre-season. But you want to be going into the season with a bit of momentum and I think the results may give Accrington Stan, Stanley fans cause for concern coming into this one. On to player profile for Donny. Um, I have gone with the main man, Billy Sharp, is back, isn't he? Uh, fantastic signing this summer. Centre forward, 38 years old. Obviously, he's knocking on in years, but for me, he looks as fit as he ever has. He sounds hungry um, and straight away he's talking about getting that 250th career league goal he's only one away at the minute can he get that in the opening game against Accrington I think there's potential there isn't there for sure um, but I think with Billy Sharp he scores goals and he'll add that goal scoring prowess to to the team but he'll also add experience and quality too so I'm absolutely buzzing to see Billy back I'm hoping to be singing his name many many a time this season I think somebody like that is going to get you 10 to 15 goals in League 2 and that could be the difference between us being playoffs just outside the playoffs or potentially in the top three so yeah buzzing to see Billy back fantastic signing um, amongst many others which I will talk about in future match day previews on to the opponents one to watch so as I said at the start of the video you know your club much better than I do um, so if there's a player that I've missed overlooked get him in the comments down below I want to learn about every club in League Two, but I've gone for this one with Sean Wally, uh, another ageing player in 36 right winger. But I think what what he gives a, a relatively young Accrington Stanley team is similar to Billy Sharp, experience and just an expertise at this level. Spent a lot of time at Shrewsbury, oh, sorry, the level above. Um, spent a lot of time at Shrewsbury, 556 career appearances, 92 goals, 108 assists. I think a lot will probably go through Sean Wally this season at Accrington or at least he'll be on there kind of talking the younger players through it and, and kind of pulling the younger players through it. He reminds me a little bit of, of Tommy Rowe um, at Doncaster a couple of seasons ago where surrounded by younger players and a lot of kind of expectation and pressure is, is put on him to, to kind of guide the younger players through. So I think he's got a really important role at Accrington this season if he's going to have an impact and, and give Accrington a positive season but if I'm miles off with that please let me know in the comments down below and um, that's just my thoughts on, on what sort of role Sean Wally will be playing in Accrington's team this season. On to the predicted team lineup this is thanks to FanHub if you've not downloaded the app yet go ahead get it downloaded plenty of features to get stuck into and you get rewarded for following your club so it makes sense. Uh, for my predicted team lineup for this one uh, it's tough because we don't know who the starting eleven is going to be, we don't know if it's going to settle, uh, but I've gone with Sharman Low in goal, Sterry, Oluwu, Wood and Maxwell as a back four, Bailey, Broadbent and Sabara in a midfield three with Molyneux on the right, Gibson on the left and Ironside up front on his own and then the Accrington Stanley players will dread the moment that they'll look over and see Ironside coming off for Billy Sharp. Um, but I think that may be a theme this season where one gets rested comes on on maybe 60, 65, 70 minutes and just gives us an, another dimension. So yeah, that's the predicted 11 that I'm going with for tomorrow's fixture. On to the predictions league table. So if you're new to this, me and the family predict the scoreline for every single league game. If you get spot on, we get three points. If we get the outcome of the game right, but not the scoreline, we get one point. Completely wrong, it's no points. And last season, I was champion. The trophy is over there. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. Um, 
Look, last trophy is very nice. I'm hoping to retain it this year. Finished on 32 points. Chris caught me up near the end with 30 points. Max on 27 and Dad brought up the rear on 12. So he'll be hoping for a better season this season. So we clear the table. Everyone's on no, no points and all the family have got the same hope and expectations as football fans have of their club and the position that you'll finish this season. I'm hoping to retain it. And that takes me on to the all important score prediction for the first game of the season and i'm being positive with this one i think we're going to start well accrington i think they're going to have a rough season a tough tough season that they're going to have to fight very hard to survive in um but yeah i think we're going to start really well i'm going with a 2-0 home win let's hope i'm right and that brings me to the end of the very first 2024 25 match day preview if you've enjoyed it Big thumbs up on it for us please comments in the section down below let me know your score prediction and potential predicted team lineup if you can fit it in the comments um i'll, I'll look forward to reading and replying to as many as i can and um, if you haven't already please click subscribe so you don't miss any future content and all that's left for me to say is thank you for watching this one and i'll see you in the next one